everyone, it's Shannon here. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, we are going to create a really fun and simple inlay rainbow birthday card using the new rainbow birthday die. We're going to start today's card with the rainbow birthday die. This is it here. As you can see, it comes with four dies. This large die here that cuts lots of rings, and then you have a couple additional dies that create some shadows. I'm going to start with the large die here and just die cut it out of some white cardstock. I have some heavyweight cardstock here. It's 110. I'm just going to place my die on there, use a piece of purple tape to hold it in place, and then run it through my die cutting machine. Here's my cardstock after I ran it through my die cutting machine. As you see, all my layers stayed intact and together, which was really nice. And I'm now going to grab the largest outline die here. This die fits directly behind the largest ring of the happy birthday. And I just ran it through with some regular white cardstock. Now I'm going to run this die through with this double sided adhesive sheet from scrapbook.com. And as you can see it die cut perfectly. I'm just going to remove the backing and then I'll place it right on top of the white cardstock layer. This is going to be what we attach all of our rings to after we color them. So I chose to add color to the rings with uh, Distress Ink or Ink Blending. You could of course color this with marker, you could even just avoid coloring and die cut the happy birthday out of five colors of colored cardstock, but I actually thought this was a little bit easier so that's why I went with this route. I started with worn lipstick and I'm just going to quickly ink blend this first layer. It goes really quick and easy once I've got that all ink blended. I'll then go ahead and actually attach it directly on to my uh, backing. So I just quickly cleaned my mini mat and then I'm going to remove the other backing on my adhesive and cardstock layer and then just stick this uh, pink ring right down and I'm just gonna make sure and take some extra care here and making sure it's all lined up it's pretty easy to still kind of slide it around a little bit here with my finger until I get it perfectly positioned perfectly matching the die cut now I'm going to grab my next ring and I'm going to ink blend this with carved pumpkin and this go again goes really quickly and again I just found this was the easiest way for me to add colors to these rings and I only had to die cut the uh, happy birthday once out of white cardstock which I thought was made it even quicker and easier to put together so after after I ink blended my orange ring, I'm just going to again pop it inside and inlay it on to the backing. And again, this backing is completely covered with that double sided adhesive so everything sticks really well. Now moving on to my third ring and this is going to be my yellow one and I used a squeeze lemonade. And again, ink blended that then pop it in place. And I will admit there's a lot of satisfaction popping these die cuts in place. It's just really fun. It's like a puzzle piece and it's just fun to see the rainbow start to come together. Now I'm going to go on to my fourth ring. Now this one is where it starts to get a little bit complicated. So I just removed the ring but there are also some of these additional little negative pieces that I want colored green as well. So basically the rule of thumb here for your fourth layer is you're going to color any of these little negative pieces that aren't actually touching the letters themselves. So there's a couple tiny little pieces like there's a little piece inside the D and then just kind of around the um, border around the letters and there's eight little pieces in all. So I'm just going to continue to pop them all out, safely put them on my water media mat and then I'm going to grab a little piece of purple tape and then pick them up and pop them on the purple tape so I don't lose them and also so they stay in place and they're right side up when I do ink blending because I want to color these little pieces as well. So I'm just going to fold the edges over so it sticks to my water media mat and start ink blending. I'm using mode lawn here and I'm just again going to ink blend that fourth ring then I will pop that in place since I'm done with that I'll just go ahead and put it in 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 where it goes so I don't lose anything and then I'll move on to those little tiny pieces that will inlay actually later we're gonna have to put in kind of the blue and letters layers before we can really put those pieces in so I just quickly ink blended those and put those aside now I'm moving on to my kind of my fifth color my final color and this is the kind of the last layer our last ring which is right around the letters so I'm going to remove the letters here and any of the little tiny negative pieces inside the letters so like the little negative inside the D or actually the D actually has a fairly large negative but the little negative inside of the P and the R the B just those and the the tiniest one inside the A 
and just again put them on a little piece of purple tape so that I don't lose them and they don't move around on me when I do my ink blending. For the blue layer I'm using Mermaid Lagoon. I just ink blended that final ring and now I'm ready to ink blend these last little negative pieces here. So quickly ink blend those and then I'll put that aside. With my blue layer in place I now can grab those tiny little green negative pieces and pop all of those in place. I'm going to pop, there are eight of them. I'm actually going to pop in seven of them. There's one that I couldn't really figure out where it goes and the mystery was solved once I had finished uh, all of the blue negative pieces. That's where I figured out where that last little, it's like the tiniest piece ever goes. So I'm just finalizing, putting in my last piece here, my seventh piece and my eighth I'm just putting to a side because I couldn't figure out where it goes. Now I'm going to put in the letters themselves. So these I just left the white cardstock and after I popped all those in place I can now move on to the little uh, blue negative pieces. Pop those. Those all pretty much go right inside of the letters and then that's when I realized when I popped in that middle piece for the D that's where I realized that that final little green piece went inside of that blue ring inside the D. And that completes my little rainbow here with all my layers. And again, I just was able to die cut this out of some white cardstock and this color all the layers. So it was made it nice and easy because I only had to run, die cut the happy birthday once. So I'm now gonna create a background. I cut a piece of contact paper with the scenery die. This is the kind of cloud die in that set. And I just removed the backing on my contact paper and I'm just gonna uh, ink blend a really simple cloud sky. I have tumbled glass distress ink here and I'm just going to ink blend right along the edge of that contact paper to create those clouds or that cloud line and once I've ink blended that I'll then reposition my contact paper and ink blend some more and continue this process till I have the whole um, uh, card front covered with this little ink blended sky. So it's a really simple solution. It just adds a nice uh, bit of interest to the background and kind of goes with our rainbow theme of our sentiment. And if you've watched my videos before, that little bit of contact paper may look familiar because I've used this little strip of cloud contact paper for a bunch of cards. I'm probably up to like 10, 15 cards now. I went ahead and added some foam tape to the back side of my inlay sentiment and now I've just removed the backing and I'll center it and place it down onto my card front. And that will actually complete the card, keeping it really simple and easy. And now hold the card up to the camera so you can get a good look at some of the details in this card including the cloudy sky in the background. Really simple and easy to do, it adds a lot of interest and our beautiful rainbow sentiment. I love these rainbow uh, dies. They're just so fun to play with, lots of different kind of techniques and just lend themselves to making some really wonderful, clean and simple cards. I hope you guys enjoyed today's card and video. If you'd like any more information on the products I use, please check out the links below in the description. You can also check out my Instagram or my blog. I'll share those links as well. And if you like this video, I would so appreciate if you subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.